Hey, what she look like, bro? Shorty press, shorty press, shorty fine, shorty fine. Yeah, face card valid, she gon' slay it every time. Independent, independent, on the grind, on the grind. Yeah, all about the money, so she never got time. Hey, friend, I hope all is well with you guys. I hope y'all having a beautiful day. So, wow, what's up, book? What's up, friend? I hope all is well with y'all. So, friend. I got another thing I want to work on, on y'all. I don't know. I'm like, oh, do I feel like, do I have the energy to do this reading? You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know sometimes we got to let that camera just roll, okay? So, Father God, I ask that you only allow me to be the vessel for you today, to protect my energy, my space, and my aura. And I ask that you only allow angels of light. Anything is not a light, it's not welcome here. Father God, I ask that you allow me to tap into my Capricorn body, mind, and soul at this moment. What is going on? What is the tea with my capricorns okay look i said what is the real tea when it comes to your life okay so we're gonna break it out in parts to see what are you currently battling with damn so sick of these damn cars in the flow come on now shit you start with me mm -mm. i do see the mask card let's see um okay it said what's the remedy to this situation and what's the final outcome okay so let's see what's going on with y'all. Come on, boo. We ain't finna do we ain't finna do these boo. Let me move this out the damn way. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyways, Spirit, what is going on with my collector? I mean with my Capricorn, my bad y'all. Capricorn, it said, what is you currently battling with? I'm hearing closure. And you might be having a hard time moving forward from the past. Or the past things that could have happened. Something might really bother you, and you might be having a hard time accepting this and moving forward, okay? I'm going to fully accept this, because some of y'all might accept me, but you ain't fully accept something, okay, and moving forward. And what can you really tell yourself to fully accept this betrayal or change? This could be stopping some type of growth, and I'm hearing this could be, um, I'm hearing this thing. Oh, okay. So whatever it is, it's um it's stopping your growth and it's, it's whatever this, whatever this thing is the the enemy got on you, okay? So it's something about betrayal, it might be a breakup, it might be a friend, it might be some stuff that could have happened, okay? I feel like some of y'all could have been chasing being a chaser in the past. You get what I'm saying? Where you could have chased things that wasn't really for you. Some of y'all didn't understand. I don't chase I track at first, so I feel like a lot of y'all could have um. You could be sick chasing pain a little bit. Some of y'all might be keep reliving something. Spirit, you're like, let it die out, boo. Let it die out. It's over. Let it die out. Okay? So, yeah, it's something about what something that could have happened to you in the past. And I feel like, you know, your spirit team finally wants you to heal, fully accept something. It might hurt a little bit, but it's going to help you move forward from something, Okay? So it's gonna be different story for different people, and I feel like whatever the enemy could have took from you, whatever this is, whatever he have on you, your know, spirit saying want you to face it. Whatever you know what it is that's bothering you, you know what I'm saying? What's stopping your growth? Even though you might don't feel like it's stopping, not stopping your growth, it's something that you keep reliving, that's keep pushing you back in the past instead of living it today and worry about you know the tomorrow, like you know living today. You know, like some y'all, y'all might be worrying about tomorrow too much. Like, don't rush your journey. Live it. You know what I'm saying? Look. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over the shoulder, and the other woman. Some of y'all could have been cheated on. Some of y'all could have been betrayed, did wrong, dirty. You know, you might feel like you can't trust nobody. Some of y'all might got trust issues. Spirit saying it's time to know that at first you didn't listen to your intuition. You weren't paying attention to the signs because he always sent warnings before destruction. Some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody that was a user. Somebody was a runner. He's a runner. He's a track star. He gonna run away when it gets hard. Somebody was a runner. Feel like some of y'all, um, yeah. Whatever it is, it's been over. Some of y'all could have been in with a Scorpio. I'm here, a toxic ass, a toxic Scorpio. Yeah, this relationship is over. No second chances grow and uh, transform your life. This is it's something about some type of relationship. It don't have to be. A dating, like one, a, a love romantic relationship. Like, it could be anybody, like connections in general, where you feel like people could have betrayed you. Or they, you had to look over your shoulder. Like, people, you don't talk, you don't trust people. 
be careful because it's because some type of health issue or it might be just make making you mentally unstable what else some of y'all could have some type of health issue you might need to take some medicine for it or just take care of your vessel a little more some of y'all might be smoking too many cigarettes it's not gonna be for everybody too many vapes be careful with it i'm hearing somebody poisoning blood don't please be careful because you don't want to poison your blood something i'm hearing yes whatever this is is somebody could have treated you like an option or just did you dirty feel like people could have treated you like black sheep and it's time for you to spirit once you got that energy of feeling like a black sheep or looking at yourself like you're a black sheep because it's like you can't show up for yourself like you need to because of some type of victimhood even if you were the victim something about karmic relationships people could have like, it's like you keep reliving it in your head could have been dealing with people that was narcissistic at first It's like, it's time for you to come out of hiding, I'm hearing. Some of y'all could have been in hiding for a long time. Spirit saying it's time for you to get out of hiding. Give me like wildflower type of thing. Yeah. Y'all got some, y'all got, um, your spirit team on your team, baby. They watching you and they say, yes, luck is on your side. This is why they want you to pull, come out of this hiding. Whatever this is, like, some of that, they, they try to say you got low confidence. Your confidence level ain't high like it needs to be. That's not going to be for everybody. You can't show up for yourself like you need to. Because you got a job that might make you fully. You mean, you got something that spirit calling you to. That you need to fully show up to. You can't feel guilty and feel in victimhood. Because this is a big job for some of y'all. Whoever this is. Some of y'all might be might be a leader. Yeah, someone likes someone. Some of y'all also getting prepared for union. Because I feel like for you to fully accept something or a spirit calling you to something, it might take two of y'all. This is why they want you to work on your trust issues and stuff like that. And you don't got to trust nobody, but you can trust God. And God will always reveal people to you. <laughs> it ain't too late. And trust me, he come right on time. Some of y'all might ignore some of his signs. Look, I said, everyone has a sad story. What's so different and special about yours? That means... Why what what why do you want people to continue you tuning in into your pain and your hurt more than them tuning into the great parts of you? I feel like some of y'all think pain is the only version of the only parts of you. No, it's more to you than just pain and hurt. Look, it said, are you owning up to your wrongdoing and actions too? Or are you or are you just pointing fingers? Look, it's time for you to focus on your plate now. It's time for you to stop reliving past trauma. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, baby. I'm just telling you what what I'm feeling, okay? Yeah, it said hurt people is hurt people, hurt people is a scam, self chick time. Yeah. So some of y'all could have been reliving a certain situation in your life for a little too long. So the solution to this is to really ask yourself to really reflect. Whatever really hurt you bad, right? Ask yourself what did you really want out of this connection? Was you really putting your all in it? Was you was was the energy reciprocated? The things that you wanted out of this connection, was you giving it? And if you want giving, it's time for you to look at it and learn from it. You know what I'm saying? You know what to do in the next relationship. What signs the spirit give you? Ask yourself that. And if, if you saw the signs, then it's time for you to redirect the anger at yourself, but also forgive yourself, okay? Like, not redirect it, but I'm going to say, like, they, may, they let you be less mad at a person. Because it's like, okay, well, I do play a major part in these you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all might be mad at yourself as well, too. And you might be acting like you... Like, but you might be projecting it onto the person who could have did something to you. But also, sometimes we just be mad at ourselves. Sometimes. Because we like, I, I knew better than it. But you know what? I don't like you. I hate you. Because you did me dirty. Even though I should know better than I read. I seen the red flags, but I ignored them. But I'm still finna hold you accountable for fucking me over. Because I didn't see those red flags. Look, at see, every breath I take it gives me another uh, level of confidence. I mean, when you know better, you do better. So, I feel like some of y'all need to give yourself a second chance. If you give everybody else the benefit of the doubt, it's time to give yourself the benefit of the doubt. It's that P.S. Your worries are lying to you. You are loved. You are accepted. And you are wanted. Okay? It's say you're about to be, you're about to upgrade. Because as soon as you let go of this pain and suffer, baby, you're about to upgrade. Because I feel like a lot of people going to lean on you. Some of y'all might have to be some type of spiritual coaches, some type of leader. Something about helping other people. Yeah, seriously, it ain't a flesh you keep on living through this pain and this hurt. 
some of y'all behavior could be um can be bad because of hurt and pain. Bad attitude, bad temper, smart mouth. It. Somebody might have an attitude problem. They don't want to be everybody. Or you might be easily triggered. And spirit saying, I need you to be able to show up for me. Yes, if somebody have options. I feel like a lot of y'all got a lot of opportunities. They could be forming for you, but it's like you got to work on your triggers. Work on your attitude or something like that. It's time to free yourself. It said free, period, free. No longer falling for really things, knowing that life can be messy and full of illusions that no longer excite you. This is what spirit wants you to get into that, and get into that energy. Yeah, it says starting to look at your start looking at your flaws like beauty marks. It's the special thing about you that make you you. Period. That make you you. It said pick a side and choose the bravery. You're gonna be on the light side, you're gonna be on the dark side. You're gonna be in victimhood or you're gonna be a warrior. Which one? Because I feel like both of y'all I feel like you might be jumping sides. Like, you don't like it. You know. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> like, stiff word. You remember that, when that, that, little, that little girl was, we had that wig on? Like, and she was doing <laughs> Yeah, like, pick a side because, like, look, you will either get good karma or bad karma, but sitting in there, hurt people, hurt people energy will attract bad karma, okay? So I said, pick a side because karma is about to get issued out. Okay, is that people can feel you finally waking up to their games. And it said here in the child. Yeah, so some of y'all woke up to somebody bull crap, and But it's like you still holding on to it. So that's the only problem with that. What else? My Capricorn. Yeah, some of y'all might be thinking it'll look too logical. I ain't gonna lie. Some of y'all might be weird about structure. Y'all all work, no play. Some of y'all might be in this bitter state. Now, I go, I would be bitter. I'm not talking about this, like... Kinda like I don't need no love, fuck love, but this ain't woo -doo -doo -doo. I ain't gonna lie. For some of y'all, you might be taking a break from dating. I feel like I ain't gonna lie. This is probably why I love damn near at your door. Because you're not focusing on it, but spirit don't want you to, you know, he wants you to steal. He wants you to be in that I don't care attitude, that I don't give if attitude. He wants you to also take accountability. Also make sure you're not pointing fingers. Because I feel like a lot of y'all about to go through another relationship. But this relationship right here is from spirit. It's both y'all got jobs to do from spirit. The reward is y'all just y'all get love out the situation in abundance. But both y'all coming together to help some do something for spirit. Some of y'all might get somebody that's very intellectual. Intellectual. Just coming to you. To you. Somebody very intelligent. Somebody who um I'm here, they've been single for a while, but they're not easy to persuade. For some of y'all, they could be you as well, too. Feel like somebody who damn near on your same level. Yeah, you got a partnership that keeps coming in, boo. Yeah, I know y'all been hearing this. Something about, it's something about divine timing. Yeah, this is why Spirit wants you to see something. So some of y'all feeling stuck. It's because Spirit wants you to... I'm here, focus on your plate. He wants you to see how you acted in certain situations. If you want to, like, like some of y'all want to accept the knowledge or other people's point of view, or you want to listen to this, you want to listen to spirit in the past. Yeah, you was in denial about certain things. Spirit saying now it's time for you to really look at certain things, relook at some of the ways you was acting back in the past. And this will make more sense. You will see why certain stuff had to happen. For some of y'all could have been stubborn as crap. Very nonchalant. I'm here very childish with some of y'all. Some of y'all was not moving like the empress. Some of y'all was chasing. You was worrying. You was letting people get to you. Either the trigger. good. And some of y'all had it in a knowing. It's like you was not listening to your intuition in the past. This is why you had to be like that. Because y'all always had to give... I'm here for some of y'all to give a gab. What the crap? Or you could have been, um, I know because this, this, I'm about speaking. That don't even make sense with it. But some of y'all already knew certain things. It's like you, let, you allow people to project on you for some of y'all. Because here you always had the opportunity to have be 10 steps ahead. But it's like you choose not to, chose not to listen. That's for some of y'all. Yeah, you always had the, the end. Like you always could look looked nice. Spirit could have always gave you ideas. Like, you always had the upper hand more than people. And y'all could be a uh, social butterfly where a lot of people love you. 
A lot of people love the energy that you carry. People feel like your energy is unreplaceable, unrecognizable. Yeah, it's so crazy because y'all know I try to hurt and stuff a lot. And I was downtown, right? We were finna ride scooters. And somebody came to me and they were like, I knew it because I heard the voice. It was like, I just did fade look for me, but I, the voice gave it away. I'm just like, for real? She's like, uh huh. Girl, I ain't seen it lady in about 10 years. It's crazy. I don't know what made me say that, but I just got it out there. Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all in y'all heads. It's like you got all the comfort. Spirit is walking with you, Capricorn. And it's like, yeah, like, they're like, baby, you feeling left that in the cold. You got your whole spirit team with you. You got stuff that people wish to have. I ain't going to lie. It's starting to look kind of ungrateful to spirit. It's like, what are you waiting on? What are you What are you bickering about? You got me. You were about the other people who did you dirty, but they couldn't walk with you because they was not of me. I mean, they was not a child of God. I don't know who they're supposed to get on. Happy hour preaching. Mm-mm. We ain't finna do it because I don't feel like getting loud. Uh-uh. Y'all gonna have to make me put my preacher voice on. Some of y'all could be chosen kids, boo. The people who you could have worked with, some of y'all was doing, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be 100% real with you. Some of y'all was doing God dirty work. As in like, it ain't dirty work, but it's like, some of y'all meant to walk on people's path and show them what real love feels. I've been telling y'all that for a minute. Tell them what genera um being being generous, uh, being genuine. Um showing them gen generosity. Showing them loyalty, all that type of stuff. And they might they might then show you the sign. They might then re reciprocate the same energy. But it's cool cuz look. This is why help is coming. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it said every breath I take, I make uh Gives me another a level of confidence. Spirit wants you to tap into the energy, boo. Because your spirit team is with you. Way more than you think it is. Okay, what else? Let's see. So, that's really confirm what is the remedy to these. Because what is the final outcome? <clears throat> what is the final outcome for Capcom? I feel like some of y'all might need to journal. It's time for you to burn, write and do some burning or something. Or really reflect, really go relive them situations. And do the pros and the cons. But some of y'all might meet, oh, the outcome is you meeting somebody new. I told you. You got the date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, playing, set a date. Yeah, so Spirit wants you to intertwine still. Yeah, because you got some type of relationship. Because you, you don't know that the relationship is going to, revive, uh, going to evolve to the next level. Yeah, something about healing your inner child after feeling not good enough. Okay, some of y'all going to put yourself out there. You going, some of y'all been running from connections and running from relationships. But I feel like that's where you challenged it. And Spirit wants you to put yourself back out there. And trust that everything going to be different. Because some of y'all could have been codependent at first. You know what I'm saying? Spirit wants you to break away from that. This codependent energy. Some of y'all like to attract... Some of y'all attract a codependent energy. And well, yeah, give it time. Everything will unfold. Let things flow. And say, if, uh, you will be traveling soon. So some of y'all might be meeting somebody that's not in the science cities. You don't have to be. Or some of y'all just finna relocate. And you might meet somebody in a different city. I feel like Spirit wants you to, to mingle a little bit, though. Because how people gonna see you in the house, Capcom? Yeah, something about karmic relationships. I feel like some of y'all, y'all ain't gonna lie, some of y'all might get tested with a karmic relationship. This gonna let this this this, this gonna be coaching your, your discernment though. <clears throat> you might have some narcissistic or some um codependent people try to come towards you. Spirit gonna be watching you to see if you're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt or you gonna or you gonna listen to your intuition. Cause I feel like you might attract a lot of um narcissistic individuals. Selfish individuals. <clears throat> Some of y'all also might meet an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Be careful because this person might be a karmic relationship. What else? The over outcome. Some of y'all <clears throat> might meet somebody with some challenges. Y'all might meet somebody who's going through a breakup as well, too. I ain't going to lie. Some of y'all challenges a lover who battling with heartbreak. Battling with something. 
It might be somebody you meet that's gonna be battling with something. They they <clears throat> they getting over a karmic cycle. I've been telling y'all this. It's somebody who mirror you. They're going through a separation, experiencing a breakup. Look, outdated, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying event over in your head. I feel like this person mirror you as well, too. I feel like both of y'all relive y'all past a lot. And I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like this is what spirit bringing to you. You finna meet somebody just like you. But I feel like you are meant to do your thing, do your thug dizzle that you did in the past with this person. For y'all can heal one another. Y'all finna, you finna meet somebody just like you. It's trouble by the past. It'll still reliving the past. Yes, ma'am. But that's why Spirit said, pay attention to all red flags. Use your discernment. Because it's not going to be somebody who's going to be perfect. That's why I always tell y'all, y'all thinking these perfect relationships going to come in and they're going to be the ones. Sometimes it'll be the karmics. It's going to be somebody who mirror you. Y'all have a lot in common, even if you know it or not. So it might trigger you a little bit. Because you're going to be like, damn, they still hurt. They still sad, even if they got the, you get, they got you in their life or whatever. Or you're going to feel something off with them. But it's because of something they battling with, a past event, okay? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Somebody who went through a one-sided connection. So they, they might be a little stingy with themselves when, when y'all first start off, okay? Yes, ma'am, Pam. Oh, doctor visit. Who got a hell got to visit the doctor? I wish I could be good enough for you. I cheat and play mind games. Oh, we raw dog. I'm low key in love with you. So the person who did hurt you, this is why spirit wants you to focus on you too. Cause the person that you could have that, that you could be reliving or ain't forgave. This could be somebody who going through karma. Spirit, like I'm giving them karma. Like you getting your justice. So what is going on with you, boo? Some of y'all might know, or some of y'all, I'm hearing some of y'all might not know that somebody going through calm. Because they not, they might not they might not be on social media. But somebody is hurting. And somebody's still yawning for you. But y'all, y'all got somebody coming in that's going to be going through some stuff. It's also hurting. You going to meet somebody while they going through something. While they going through a breakup or some type of hardship. You gonna meet somebody at their vulnerable stage. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. So I hope y'all take resonate and leave with do not friend. I will be back for some more. But I'm gonna talk to you later, friend. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hey, what she look like, bro? Shorty press, shorty press, shorty fine, shorty fine. Yeah. Face card valid, she gonna slay it every time. Independent, independent, on the grind, on the grind. Yeah. All about her money, so she never got time.